Now let's look at number 10 as we continue our study of empirical formula and molecular formula. We want to find out how to solve certain important examination questions. All right. So now number 10, x gram of chromium combines with 2.4 gram of oxygen to form an oxide with the empirical formula of Cr2O3. Determine the value of x. So now, normally when we solve this question, we will start off with drawing a chart, right? So we have Cr and then we have O. And the first piece of information is we list out the actual mass. So in this case, this is x gram, and then this is 2.4 gram, given in the question. Second step should be finding the number of mole, right? I want to find the number of mole for chromium, that will be x over 52, because the molar mass of chromium is 52. How do I know that? You refer to the beginning of the question. Now, secondly, you have number of mole for oxygen. That will be 2.4 divided by 16. Why 16? Because that's the molar mass of the oxygen. All right, so this is 0 0.15 mole. And this is just x over 52 mole. Okay, x is an unknown value. Now, on the other hand, in the question, they also tell us that the empirical formula is uh, Cr2O3. 2 and 3 indicates to us that the element chromium combines with oxygen with, with such ratio, okay, with such ratio, 2, 3. So this 2, 3, I would like to link with uh, this piece of information, alright. So 2 to 3 is the same to say x over 52, 2, 0 0.15, alright. So we go to the chart we go to the whiteboard and we want to find out what we can do about this piece of information so remember I told you x over 52 0 0.15 simplest ratio 2 3 okay they are equals to each other they are they equals to each other so if you can do fast calculation you realize that three parts become 0 0.15 seems to be multiplying 0 0.05 so you should you do the same 2 times 0 0.05 to get the answer yes the answer is 0 0.10 all right so 0 0.10 equals to x over 52 0 0.10 equals to x over 52 so x is no other than 5.2 gram but of course, if you are not very fast in calculation, you can do the traditional method, which is x over 52, ratio 0 0.15 is the same as 2, 3. So you can do this, 2 over 3, and then x over 52 times 1 over 0 0.15, because you divide by 0 0.15, alright? If you want it to be clear, I can redo this for you. So divided by 0 0.15. So x over 52 times 1 over 0 0.15 equals to 2 over 3. Alright, so from the calculation, you realize that x is 2 over 3 times 0 0.15 times 52 and your answer will be 5.2 5.2 gram all right so let's move on to another question all right 11 the oxide of metal m contains 70 percent by mass of m what is the empirical formula of the oxide so let's piece together the information. Now be careful because oxide of metal M means M X O Y. Okay, the reason I put X and Y is uh, we do not know the number yet. This we are supposed to find it. 
So they mentioned that the mass of M is actually 70 gram. If you assume 100%, no, if you assume 100 gram using percentage, that will be 70 gram. And oxygen is 30 gram. So as we move forward with uh, using a whiteboard, 70% of M, 30% of O. That's the mass. We need to find the number of mole. So number of mole is 70 divided by 56. Why 56? Because it's list, listed there. It, it is listed there as a uh, molar mass of M is 56. So how about oxygen? Oxygen you know is a 30 or 116. So 70 over 56 gives you a value of 1.25 and then 30 divided by 16 gives you a value of 1.875 so these two number we want to find the simplest ratio who is which among the two is the smaller number 1.25 so we divide by 1.25 on the other side we also divide by 1.25 so this side will give 1 the other side will just give you 1.5 now the ratio of 1 to 1.5 we can go further by putting 2 to 3 2 to 3 because 1 to 15 1 to 1.5 is actually 2 to 3 so the empirical formula is M2 O3 and 203. Alright?